Good afternoon, Crypto Farm. I've just finished work. I'm actually a little bit got um. So yeah, I'm welcome back. Love for crypto. I'm Scott. If you're on IGTV, Facebook, or YouTube, it is a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for watching, me. Hopefully, you enjoy it and get a little bit of value. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Did the post before about mentioned the Volkswagen stuff. It's absolutely blowing my mind. I am not done with it. What did happen is we got a few interesting comments on the video. So I'm going to tackle privacy first, like the privacy security handing over to someone dropped a comment about handing over security and privacy. So I'll, I'll everyone's okay with cookies everyone's okay giving all the details over to a bank everyone's okay giving all your details over to get a passport to get a bank account bank card you're all okay giving tesco all your details to um, get a tesco club card maybe you have similar things in the states you all have no problem with distributing your ID to different institutions and corporations what 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 what's the difference of when it's when it becomes a digital ID really what is the difference so yeah Volkswagen are introducing and rolling out and about to do Volkswagen ID Volkswagen ID you don't join that after 2020 maybe even before <laughs> You're not buying a Volkswagen. I'll say that again. If you don't sign up to a Volkswagen ID after 2020, maybe before, you are not buying a brand new Volkswagen. You won't be allowed to. Just like you're not allowed to go abroad without a passport. You don't moan about that, do you? So, right, yeah. Perspective, guys. So, digital IDs, you're, not, you're happy getting your passport off the government, aren't you? You trust the government to handle your ID because you have to so in five years when we all have to have digital identities for the interoperability of money i'm here i'm actually here one sec so for when everything's connected because one day everything will be connected if you can't see it <laughs> so when everything is connected you're going to need your digital identity and it's going to plug into everything. Zuckerberg spoke about it the other day, about augmentating fucking and, and, and applying a two-way a new two-way authentication and using blockchain smart contracts and distributed ledger technology to introduce um, interoperable smart IDs and digital IDs. Let's take it back a little bit now so you understand exactly what we're meaning by a digital ID. Sorry about the wind, I'm hearing it myself. If you're getting it, there's not much I can do. It'd be worse on the phone. It's coming through the earbuds. But let's step back a bit. And what, So what is the interoperability of money? And why does it need... Why do I need a digital ID for it, for it to, to go through? For it to all be interoperable? And it's because everybody's network needs to know who I am. Needs to know my phone, needs to know everything. And I'm going to give them that information. So when you go on a new website these days and it's like, oh, do you want to sign up, bro? Want to sign up? Just click the sign up thing. Oh, boom. And you're expecting a big fucking application, aren't you? Not anymore. Sign in with Google. Sign in with Facebook. Sign in with fucking Twitter. Sign in with this. Sign in with that. Sign in with OneDrive interoperability of online ids and data it's no different except you will go to one place to get your digital identity you will be distributed your digital identity google privacy by design even though someone else is going to hold your data in their ledger you own it you're in full control of it and you own it. So don't get on the Volkswagen ID. Or don't get on one that can let you sign in to Volkswagen ID. You might not have to go to Volkswagen. You could have a Merc one. And since Volkswagen are partnered with Merc. That's it. 
that's all you need. So when you go on Volkswagen, sign in with Mercedes, sign in with Ford, sign in with the Bank of England, sign in with whoever, yeah? Sign in with Google, sign in with Facebook. But what it's going to be then, it's not just going to be a little bit of data that, uh, that Facebook has on you or Google has on you. It's going to be your digital identity. You're talking access to your main wallets, your bank account, your, your digital ID, your medical ID, your criminal record, the lot of it, baby. All going in this little, this, this, this ledger network that is going to be distributed through our devices over 5G. Now, I've just been watching a few of the features on a video, someone's been sending me a little bit of a uh, little bit of Volkswagen stuff. Not going to name anyone. Not going to do anything. Uh, they just work at a little dealership, so they went out in a tour rag, and it's and they showed me the parking. So it self parked itself. The steering wheel's going round on its own and that, like the Ford's done for years. Ford partnered with Volkswagen. Interesting. It's got lane assist, which he showed me. It's got an app on his phone that he can open and lock his car with and set his alarm off and make it bib and all that. And it was a little bit laggy, a little bit laggy, so I had a joke like, well, it's a good advert for it needing needing 5G. But seriously, this stuff, what Volkswagen, Mercedes, Ford, and the rest of them are on now, it's only in cars and it's just the start. So by 2025, between 2025 and 2030, I would say waking up in the future in a bit, when you're walking out to your car and it knows you're coming, I did the live the other day, sadly couldn't ship, couldn't save it. But at that point, everyone, they, they, what, they, blah, 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 blah. what they basically want to get to is a point between 2025 and 2030 when 75% of the population are like, do you know what? Cars are that smart and good these days. They basically drive themselves, don't they? And that's when your Volkswagen's Merc and everyone else pop up and go, oh, oh, funny you should say that because they've actually been able to since 2020. It's just the rules of the road don't allow it. So at the moment, the rules of the road suggest that a person has to be in, in, in control of the car, don't it? All the car can do is assist you at the moment, assist you in parking, assist you in staying in lane. It's got this little wrap, this little indicator, indicator, little little orange flashy indicator on the wing mirror when someone's in your blind spot. You might have that on your car already, and you might think it's nothing, and you don't even really need it. You can look over your shoulder. Bruh, guys. That little light is just letting you know the car knows. It's the car basically saying, Do you know what, I just saw that guy before you. Yeah, you can turn around and see him, but you don't need to now. It's 2019. Someone's talking about, someone's in the comments saying robots will never be able to fix cars. Robots build cars, bruh. Not seen them robot arms. I think there's only like Rolls Royce, Bentley and Ducati that are not built by robots these days, that are handmade vehicles. Every other vehicle you see on the road, every vehicle in this car park there has already been built by robots. You honestly think that it's more efficient for the human to take that dashboard out of there, refit something in it, and put the dashboard back that it is me or my own or another engineer. There's no way it's as efficient for a human being to do it. One, the, 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 the robot don't need a brake. The robot don't need food. And they don't even need paying. So how is it more efficient for people to do it? A robot couldn't do a backflip five years ago, but it can now at Boston Dynamics. It's quite interesting, that. wonder where they're going to be in the next five or ten years. Blockchain technology. <sighs> Forget your eye robot where they're breaking the code and they twist it into their own little... You know, they, they use the free little laws and they make their own little law out of it. You ain't doing that on blockchain. It's a machine. It's got to follow the laws, man. It's governed by ones and zeros. Simple. Does what it's fucking told. AI or not. Can't break the blockchain. It can't even hack its own blockchain. It's going to be safe and secure. You will own your data. I'm not finished with this. Not by a long shot, so... Stay tuned for some more Volkswagen smart cars and a vision to the future of, of payment systems and interoperability. Because it's about to go crazy. I can't wait till my little Betsa can drive me home and I don't have to do it. <laughs> Say goodbye to your steering wheels in 50 years. Accumulate, wait, live long and oddle. Peace out, love crypto, love you. We love XRP and interoperability.